Caroline Harris. Thank you. I say what a pleasure it is to serve under your chairmanship, Mr Howarth, and congratulate my friend and colleague, the member for Ogmore, for securing this important debate. With nearly 50% of women currently serving time in prison, having experienced some form of abuse, be it physical, emotional or sexual, surely we should be putting more res resources into supporting and counselling them than punishing them with prison sentences. Ten years ago, Baroness Corston published her review of women with particular vulnerabilities in the criminal justice system, in which she talked about the very things that we are talking about here today, about the chaos and disruption experienced by families, about disproportionate and inappropriate sentences that women are facing for minor and non-violent offences, and about the victims of violence, sexual abuse and childhood neglect who end up in prison due to the lack of support. At the time of writing her report, Baroness Corston called for a fundamental rethink. She addressed the need to consider the issues connected with women prisoners before considering imprisonment as a serious option. And reading through the recommendations, the review could, the review could quite easily have been written 10 weeks ago, not 10 years ago, because very little has changed. Women are still being imprisoned without consideration of whether this is the best solution and they are still coming out of prison without the necessary support and facilitation to help them reintegrate into the community. In recent months, I've visited prisons and I've met with too many women who have been so appallingly let down by the welfare and the judicial system in this country. Women who have been published, uh, punished when they should have been supported. In my own city of Swansea, I spent two weeks during the summer recess talking to women who, for whatever reason, had served time in prison. And too many of those had suffered as a result of their time in prison. I heard harrowing stories that rendered me speechless, and I desperately want to help these women. Yes, they committed crimes. They never dispute this. But the punishment that they have received far outweighed the level of criminality involved with the crime. Prison sentences are harsh, but the, sub the subsequent loss of their homes and very often their children, is just bitterly unfair. There are almost 4,000 women in UK prisons today, but only two are serving life sentences, Rosemary West and Joanne Dennehy. This means for the vast majority of women in prison, there is life after prison. And there's a lack of support for these women, and the struggle they face on release is something of grave concern. Housing is a huge problem. Almost two-thirds of women leaving prison will have nowhere to live. For those who are released on condition that they live in approved properties, there is the added difficulty of reintegrating into a community that they're unfamiliar with, often hundreds of miles from family and loved ones. Women who have served prison sentences often struggle to find work. 90% are, are still not in employment a year after being released a much, much higher figure than men in the same position. Money is tight, and all too often they find themselves re-offending because they can't afford not to. I have personally met a woman who has had to sell her body to pay for a hotel room for the night. That should not be happening in modern society. Too many women's lives and children's lives are being destroyed because of the judicial and rehabilitation system in this country. Women are sent to prison just because there are not more suitable alternatives. And when they are released, often after very short periods of time, they're homeless, unemployable, desperate ex-offenders with no support and little option other than to re-offend in order to survive. These we women need the government to radically over overhaul the support and facilities available to aid their transition back into the community. They need help with housing, with employment, and with their social well-being to ensure that their lives do not become a vicious circle of reoffending, old mistakes and ruined futures. Yeah, yeah.